Hello, and welcome to this lesson on the Interactive Brokers Client Portal API. In this lesson, we will be discussing how to request all live orders, as well as how to modify and cancel existing orders. In many instances, you would want to review the orders on your account. To do this, we simply need to make a GET request to the iServer forward slash account forward slash orders endpoint. I can set that to my endpoint variable and send this as a GET request using my standard framework. The endpoint functions similar to the iServer forward slash market data forward slash snapshot endpoint in the sense that I might need to instantiate the request and then send a follow up request to retrieve my information. After the second request, my response body will show a list of orders I've placed today. Receiving our active orders is important as it allows us to modify orders. If we look through our open orders, we may find orders previously submitted and their order IDs. These order IDs allow us to modify a specific order. This will require a unique endpoint, so let's go ahead and create a new Python file with our standard framework. In a modify order method, let's go ahead and create a base URL variable. Next, we can create an endpoint variable set to iServer forward slash account forward slash account ID forward slash order and another forward slash. Similar to the reply endpoint, I will need to append our order ID onto this endpoint. To do so, I will create a variable order underscore ID and set this equal to one of our submitted order IDs. Now, I can create the variable modify URL and set it equal to my double quote dot join and then in parentheses and then brackets base URL endpoint and our order ID variables. Next, I can designate the JSON underscore body variable. This will largely mimic the order we had created before. While most of these variables can be copied from our orders response, it makes sense that if we may want to modify some of these values, we can change them. I will update the price field to make this $3 higher. If I submit this request and we call our live orders endpoint again, we could see this value has updated. While some individuals may need to modify their orders, an equal number may need to fully cancel an order using the Client Portal API. This process will be quite similar to the last. Opening a new file and filling in our typical framework, let's start by creating our endpoint variable. This will be set to iServer forward slash account forward slash account ID forward slash order and another forward slash. Now, like I did before, I can retrieve an order ID from my live orders request and set the value of my order ID variable. Finally, I can join these three values together and set it equal to my cancel URL variable. With my variable in place, I can start building my request. I will set the variable cancel underscore REQ equal to request dot delete and then set a URL variable equal to our cancel URL, and then verify equal to the Boolean false. If you have been following along in the series, we can now see the pattern that get will retrieve information, post will add or modify information, and our new delete will understandably delete some information. Getting this all sorted, I can create a quick json.dumps reference and then print the status code and body response. Here, I will see my usual 200 OK message, but now I could see the field MSG stating that the request was submitted to cancel the order. I can also retrieve the order ID of the order I cancel. Given our order is now in a cancel state, the con ID and account ID are now null values. This means our order is now closed. Thank you for watching this lesson on retrieving order information along with modifying and canceling orders in the Client Portal API.
If you find this lesson helpful, please check out our other lessons in the Client Portal API tutorial series.